just by him showing up is a deterrent. Uh, people move on where you don't have to actually physically grab someone and, and remove them. Just by him being there is a deterrent. And that goes with a, a disturbance or even with the narcotics aspect of it. Um, just by him being there, uh, lots of times I've had people, once I've shown up on scene, is just tell us where the narcotics was inside the park. You know, the dogs have personalities just like people do. Yeah. If you have a personality conflict, it's never going to work. So if the dogs kind of choose. I mean, you, you'll choose a dog and it may not work out. Um, so you try a different dog, you know, until that you get that immunity. I don't know, he's a lot like me, rough around the edges. It's just, you know, it, I, I'm, it, it, to tell you a, a short story, when I first got him, um, it took over a month before my wife could even be around him. Once he gets to know you, he, he, you know, he's a dog, he's a friend. So, I mean, he, he works every day as, as, as if I'm on shift, he's on shift with me. So, I mean, he's he's my best friend. He goes to vacations with me. I mean, he's I mean, it, he's been to uh, upstate New York on a week's vacation with me and my family. So, I mean, he it's a, he's a best friend. He's another child. You know, it, it, you take care of him just like you would a child. So, you have to be realistic. He's a working dog. Um, at home, he's a pet. But he's also a working dog, you know. Um, it, it's, I love him to death, but his job is also to protect me and fits to take a bullet for me. Um, so be it. He can be replaced, I can't. If I give him the command is, no, I don't want you to do that, he understands that. And like I said, that, that's taken time. And it has taken a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into these dogs, and it's not, you know, like I said, we, we do eight hours a month is what we are allotted, but you're constantly training with these dogs. You know, when you're at home and you're just playing ball or you're sitting on a couch, that's training for them because that's all they know to do is train. He, he is always on edge. Um, he has his own separate room. and. If I get him, if I put him into that room, he kind of does relax a little bit. But you, if he hears me go outside, then it's, well, why is he going outside? You know? So it, they're always on edge. They're always wanting to do something. They're always wanting to please you. They're always wanting to work. Um, if I would take an extra day off or two extra days off and take a vacation or something like that, and, He's, he's wondering why we're not coming to work. So it's just, it, it's, it's really to watch the dog get home and then see him at work, you know, he knows my uniform. He knows when I open the door to let him out, he checks to see what kind of pants I have on. And if it's my uniform pants, he knows we're going to work. He runs to this vehicle. So to see him do things that I've taught him and I've helped train, see him do that, to watch him sit there and work and actually find something and do everything he's supposed to, that's, that's my thought.